With over 10 million hours of development and time invested, GT6 is shaping up to be the greatest game of all time. From intricate details to expansive worlds, every aspect has been meticulous, crafted over years of hard work. Subscribe if you think that GT6 will be the greatest game of all time. Thank you and let's go! New GT6 League just came out, any thoughts on this one? So looking at this picture, of course it's blurry and we can understand understand if it actually is a leak or a fake but actually I think it's fake because it's all blurry and I don't think someone just uh, like made a photo with their phone with all this blurry picture so I think this one is fake and it was all made up. Next up we go for many things that Jason in the trailer looks like a weaker and more sensitive man. However, I think this is not the case. This art made by Rockstar shows Jason as tough and really a tough guy. Rockstar knows how to create good characters. I think Jason will be the character that people gave the least attention to and that he will become an incredible character. This is going to hurt many but I think Jason could become an even better character than Arthur Morgan. I know it's it's difficult, but I think he will be an incredible character. I even think that Jason will not be unfaithful to Lucia, but that in one part of the story due to the external pressures, he will be forced to betray Lucia. What do you think on this one? Also, next up we go for purchase options for GT6 are already pre-programmed in the HTML on the Rockstar website. After some changes to the Rockstar website that brought more visibility to GT6, I decided to investigate the website's console files and found pre-programming of the game's uh, schematic, including options for the physical and digital versions. While it's not a monumental discovery, it could indicate that we are getting closer to the second trailer and possibly a reveal about the purchase availability and pricing at the end of the video, what do you think on this one? Debunk. This is false due to it being a misinterpretation on the OP's end, as all orders on the games tab will depict the same thing. It is tenderized component which will naturally contain these order buttons, though uh, does not actually suggest anything of meaning, such as GT6 next trailer, pre-order stages or purchase stages. This is the same code for every single game on their website. Website, though the backend makes it appear as if something new has been discovered. The OP is currently looking at the two separate pages on the site which additionally depicts nothing since it would be automated code not intentionally snuck in by Rockstars themselves. The next one we go for, am I the only one who thinks that this speculated GT6 map from the mapping project is much smaller than what it will actually be? But that's just how the coordinates are. Mapping community just took coordinates from actual leaked game data, mostly videos and, and some of other events, and put it onto the map. Size from Vice City and Port Gellhorn won't change, and the only way game map can be bigger is that it stretches more up north, but there is no evidence yet for that. Every black line of red uh, legend on the right side of the picture is confirmed and spot on. A red line is just speculation and the best solution right now on what can be in those areas of their shape. Only way an official game map is going to be a bigger is that it is stretches more north and maybe just maybe there is a landmass island on a lower left corner of the map. Black lines won't change in the official map. So there's evidence the map goes north. A couple of road signs from the leak show a state outline which includes the Florida panhandle as these signs lack any placeholder designations of the, so they seemingly depict the shape of Leonida. The map references a couple of towns and locations that we have no approximation of their location. So there are also evidence that Rockstar hired a scrutiny agency that also scouted in other states in southeast. As these aren't infallible, the road sign specifically, but they are certainly interesting in the context of what we actually already have. The next one we go for is uh, sh uh, so shower sod granted out of six has likely had a minimum of 10 million hours of work put into it and we are still a minimum of the year away details below. So mass show the GT6 likely has a minimum of 10 million hours put into it right now and will likely have 15,000 
uh, I mean 15 million hours minimum put into it by release. There's over 1700 years worth of work. The average developer works an average of 20 days a month, likely a minimum of 80 hours a day. That's 160 hours of work a month for one developer. That's 480 hours of work every three months. Let's call it 500, uh, 500 hours if we take into consideration months that have five weeks and over time and things like that. If there's 1000 developers working on the game and there may be much more more than that uh, 500,000 hours of work on, on is being done on the game every three months so that's two million hours of work a year and it has been over five full years since Red Dead Redemption 2 released that means in the last five years there has likely been a minimum of 10 million hours of work done on the game since Red Dead Redemption 2 released we're coming up on another million as it almost been six months since the last October, and according to this mass, over a minimum of 500,000 hours of work alone has been put into the game since the trailer released back in late December 2023. Assuming the game releases in early 2025, the game will have had 13 million hours of work put into it, as 2 million a year, 6 years, 12 million plus half a year, and 1 million total in 13. So taking pre-production into consideration as well as possible crunch, this next year or so, that number could be upwards of 15 million million hours. And all of this mass is only based on 1000 developers and it could very well be even 30 million hours if there is 2000 developers. So 15 million hours is over 1700 years worth of work. Just wow. Expectations for GTA 6. I know it's already been said thousands of times, but generally within this community, expectations for GTA 6 are much higher than they realistically should be. With lots of people legitimately believing that there will be four or more large cities, with the current mapping project only being the very tip of the overall map, another rumor I've seen floating around is that at least 70% of interiors will be in terrible and it's this is highly unlikely as there is almost zero proof to this claim. As we don't actually know whether this claim was coming directly from the person who leaked the video, and additionally the AI pattern is likely just to assist developers in creating interiors and not it and not for it to do it by all uh, itself. So I have also seen people believing that the game will basically be a real life simulator with every single NPC having its own individual house, family, job, social life, etc. Which is realistically not even possible. As in Red Dead Redemption 2, while wielding advanced NPCs, it was nowhere near this was in the game city of St. Denis. Uh, while I don't doubt that the NPCs in GTA 6 will be groundbreaking, it is also mo almost impossible for them to be anywhere near the mention level of detail that some are expecting. All of this is starting to get me worried about how disappointed some people here will be when the game launches. I can only hope that we all try to keep our expectations in check. It's basically always this, someone makes a ridiculous claim, a straight up line without a proof, people believe this game comes out without totally unrealistic claim, people complain to devs why this claim isn't the game even though they promised it every single time. GT6 improvements brought by the new version of the Rage 9. If you had to pick one thing to look forward to about this new Rage 9 system in GT6, what would it be? With a regard to Rage version 9 for GT6, this new version will essentially innovate on game physics, water physically simulated in real time, better vehicle deformation, more realistic time management, morning, day, evening, and night, quality of rendering, textures, lightning, volumetric clots, artificial intelligence, interactions with NPCs police reaction and much more so that's kind of all the information we got on today's video that's all see you in the next one and peace